Hello, my little lovelies. It is my favorite time of the month. It is Polish Pickup time. Polish Pickup um, is a monthly um, sort of indie collective um, of nail polish and um, hand and nail care, scented wax, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and today we're going to go through all of the nail polish and create a wish list. Uh, polish Pickup um, is available uh, the first Friday through Monday of every month. So check their website, which I will link down below for the exact times. Um, but let's get into it and, and find some good stuff. So we're going to start out today with Alchemy Lacquers. Um, it's called Little Sweet or Little Sweet. Um, and it's inspired by Diet Dr. Pepper. So I'm addicted to Diet Dr. Pepper. Um, so that's, you know, pretty cool. Pretty cool reference there. There's only 200 of these available. It's described as a medium gray crelly nail lacquer with blue undertones, pink, red, orange, shifting shimmer, and packed with tons of holographic flakes. Um, I have something like this. Uh, actually, um, Emily Damali has a polish kind of like this uh, called Short Term. So I don't think I'll put this on my list, but that um, is a pretty cool one if you're looking for some Diet Dr. Pepper. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, and this month, the theme is junk food. So we're going to see a lot of things inspired by yummy goodness. Uh, we have all mixed up lacquers, all jacked up. Uh, 200 of these are going to be available. It's teal base loaded with green, purple, shifting shimmer. It's inspired by Mountain Dew. Um, I have a lot, a lot of teal, green, purple, blue, uh, polishes. So I'm not going to put this on my list, but if you are a fan of that kind of shift, look at that. This is really pretty. So, uh, that's tempting, but I do have a lot. So, um, oh, and this is a, a, pipu, a pipula. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm butchering the name. Um, but this is a stamping polish. It's just a, a black, a regular black. There's 200 of these available. I have not ventured into the world of stamping, so I don't need this one. Art as Nails Gobstopper. Oh, I love Gobstoppers. This is a white crelly uh, packed with blue, pink, gold, and bronze flakes. Only 150 of these available. I love the way white crellies look on other people, but I do not love them on me. So, no to this one. Ooh, Atomic Polish Sour Apple Rings. Atomic Polish is one of my favorites. Uh, no cap on this one. Uh, looks like so these are inspired by or this one is inspired by summy summy ha huh, sour gummy rings um it's a yellow leaning neon green polish and it's loaded with aurora pigment um that shifts gold to green i love atomic polish and i love green so we're gonna put this on our wish list i don't love sour apple rings however i don't like any sour candy but that's okay. I'm not going to be eating the nail polish. Baroness X Donut Holes. So this is inspired by Pink Frosted Donuts. Uh, it's a clear base fluid art polish with pink, gold, green, iridescent flakies and pigment. Um, so this is used to create this kind of effect. Uh, there's a pretty cool um, description here at the bottom of how it's used. Baroness X does this a lot, these fluid arts. I have not tried this yet. Um, a fluid art so um, I don't think I will get this one but look at how fun you can oh I love that no cap on this one next up BCB lacquers double stuffed that's got to be an Oreo reference right a blue crelly oh it's inspired by Oreos yes a blue crelly with blue purple flakes black flakes and hollow flakes now if you're gonna be inspired by Oreos I other than the blue packaging I, I don't get the inspiration. Um, there are 300 of these available. I actually really like this polish. I just don't see how it, it doesn't, you know, represent Oreos to me, but I actually really do like this polish. Um, I, yeah, I think I'm going to put this on the wish list. Plus I've never tried BCB lacquers, so that would be a fun new brand to try. Bedford and Grove glass and a half of milk. Okay. It's inspired inspired by the purple and silver foil from the old Cadbury's dairy milk bars. A deep purple base with golden purple flecks and a holographic finish. Uh, only a hundred of these available. I, I don't know what the old Cadbury 
um, dairy milk wrappers used to look like. It definitely doesn't look like today's Cadbury wrappers. That's some bright, bright royal purple on today's. Um, I have a lot that are that I have a lot of like silver and pewter hollow uh, nail polishes, so I don't think I need this one. But that is really pretty if you're in the market for um, a silver hollow. This might be a good choice. Next, we have Bluebird Blast Off. This is inspired by um, Lisa and Lisa from Cosmetic Sanctuary and um, the owner of Bluebird. Their favorite guilty soda. Uh, Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I've never tried that. I'm actually, I don't, I don't really do Mountain Dew. <laughs> Blast Off is a Bluebird Shadow ho Shattered Hollow formula in a pale Baja Blast aquamarine mint with an effervescent pink to hold shifting shimmer. Oh, to gold shifting shimmer. Uh, 400 are, are available. This is just not my thing. Um, Although it's gorgeous right here. I love it right here. If it looked like this in every light, I would, I would totally jump on it. I've never tried bluebirds. So I would definitely like to try them soon. By Vanessa <coughs> Harley. Sorry, my dog has spotted probably a piece of paper outside and of course has to protect her home. This, our next up is by Vanessa Molina, Purple Thunder. Inspired by Mountain Dew in the Purple Thunder version. Um, neon purple jelly base with Aurora Shimmer, pink reflective glitter, iridescent flickies, and green magnetic micro flickies. 500 are available, so that's a good good amount. It looks magnetic. Did I say magnet? I did. Green magnetic micro flickies. I love this. I think it is gorgeous. It looks like some sort of futuristic galaxy or something. Um, so I love this, but I... I don't use the magnetic polishes that I have, so I don't need to add another one. Um, so I'm going to say no to this one. Cadillacer Midnight Galaxy. I do love Cadillacer. It's inspired by the cake Midnight Galaxy by Nick Macrides, a.k.a. the Scran Line. I have no idea. Oh, here. Here's the cake. There's the cake right there in the middle. I love frosting. <laughs> There's no... Uh, what do you call it? No cap on this one. It's an intense deep blue shimmer base with iridescent flakes and a turquoise to green um, purple magnetic. Oh, so this one is magnetic. Oh yeah, I guess you can kind of see that here with the little lines across the nails. Um, this is gorgeous. I really don't need another magnetic, but this is really pretty. I'm adding this to my wish list. It could probably, it'll probably hop off later, but we'll see. Next up, we're on to Cameo Colors, La Cameo Colors Lacquers. That's a mouthful. Shake that Laffy Taffy. <laughs> Uh, this is inspired by Sparkle Cherry Laffy Taffy, fluorescent coral crelly with scattered hollow sparkle, blue, no, purple to blue shifting shimmer, blue and red metallic flakes, and silver hollow micro flakes. 105 are available. This is not my kind of color, but I do love how prominent those blue flakies are, are in there. Not my color, um, but pretty cool. Cleona Cosmetics Saltwater Melon Taffy. This is gorgeous. This is inspired by Watermelon Saltwater Taffy, a vivid mint green curly base with pink peach mime shifting shimmer. It's intentionally sheer, um, but it says you could build it up. Okay, no cap on this one. This is really, really, really pretty. And I do not have anything from Cleona. I mean, I have eyeshadows from Cleona, but not nail polish. I'm going to put that on the list. Color Spectrum Polish, Dunk Those Roos. Oh, inspired by Dunkaroos, how cool. A violet base with teal to purple shimmer, iridescent flakes, purple sparks, and scattered hollow flakes. 115 are available. A really, really gorgeous purple, but I actually think I have three or four of this same shade, so I don't need this one. Color Stick Hair. Okay, so this is... This is, I saw this on the Facebook group. There's a, actually a Facebook group, which I will link down below in the description. When I first saw this, I thought, I have to, I have to. It's gorgeous. Look at this. I don't normally like thermals because, you know, there's a time limit on um, the thermal. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't change forever. It, it expires after a while. Um, you can still wear the nail polish. It just won't change colors. Um, but, I mean, just look at the chocolatey goodness. 
let's read the description. So this is Colors to Carol Glitzy Glaze. This is going on. I mean, this is just, let's just click the button right now because it's going on the wish list. It's inspired by chocolate donut with sprinkles. It's a brown to colorless thermal with a small holographic chameleon glitter. Only 350 of these are available. I think the, the brown is the cold state and then the colorless is the warm state. I believe that's it. So yeah, you'll go cold, getting warmer, warm. I, I, I just, I love it. I just want to eat a thousand donuts just looking at it. It's on the wish list, period. Crystal Knockout Sugar Spun. That sounds like, yep, cotton candy. A strawberry pink to peachy gold thermal with orange gold shifting shimmer, orange copper iridescent flakes, a pink and blue light blue matte pink and light blue matte glitters. No cap on this one. And this is a really pretty thermal. You've got the cold state here on the left um, and then it goes to the peach on the right in the warm state. This is really pretty. I don't think I would wear this very often. So it, I don't think it's for me, but this definitely, that's a really pretty summer vibe right there. Not for me, but really pretty. Cuticula, cuticula. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with my speech today. Cuticula, a Skittle obsessed. So we're inspired by Skittle gummies here. A lilac jelly base with large particle blue and purple shimmer, a green blue shifting glass flake. No cap on this one. I think this is the one that will get me to try Cuticula. I, I personally would not think of Skittles when I'm looking at this, but I don't, I don't care. This is gorgeous. Let's add it. Dreamland Lacquer, Shake Your Shamrock. Ha. It's inspired by the great bright green seasonal treat that is the Shamrock Shake. Is that a McDonald's shake? I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, there are, are, oh, there's a thousand of these available. Okay, it's a semi-bleached neon green curly base filled with blue shimmer. Gorgeous. I love this. So pretty. It looks literally like there's a black light just on it all the time. Like each one of these pictures looks like it's under black light. Um, but again, I have a lot of green. So I think I will skip this one. But if you are in the market for a green um, and you like that, the black light effect, I think this would be a great choice. DRK Nails, Donut Give Up, inspired by donuts. It's a magnetic. Um, and it's a magenta micro flake magnetic mixed in aqua to blue to purple aurora pigment. Um, where is the, ah, there, the, the cap is a high, 400, not a hundred, 400. This is really cool. Um, I do love blue and purple, but I don't need another magnetic right now, but Ooh, there, there's a really good shot of the magnetic right there. So, um, if you're in the market for a magnetic and you like blue and purple and pink, go for it. Ethereal, one of my absolute freaking favorite uh, brands. Yummy Bear, that's what it's called. Ethereal Yummy Bear is next. Inspired by Gummy Bears, uh, the bright magenta base is full of pink to orange shifting shimmer and small holographic flickies. No cap on this one. Now, normally, uh, Ethereal would be an automatic add to the wish list, but I don't wear magenta that often, so this would just kind of sit in the drawer. Look at that picture. Those nails are gorgeous. Ugh, I want those nails. And this is a really pretty polish. And if you are a magenta person, I think you would, you know, this is right up your alley. Seriously, all of these nails are so pretty. I'm going to skip this one even though I know how great Ethereal is. It is one of those polishes that I can put on this brand and I can have the manicure last for a week. And that's just incredible in my opinion. Next up is Garden Path Lacquers, Shoe In for Prom Queen. Ooh, that's cute. It's inspired by one of our favorite late nineties films, Jawbreaker. I have not seen that. Um, it's an almost neon matte magenta filled with shifting aurora shimmer, purple iridescent flakes, black metallic micro flakes. It dries to a matte finish. Okay. Um, no cap on this one. So it dries matte, but you can throw some glossy. Here we go. So here on the top is the 
you know, natural matte finish um, that it'll dry to. And then you throw a glossy top over it if you like glossy and it looks great. I'm going to pass on this one just because I don't, I, I don't do a lot of the pink magenta things, but um, I think this one's really pretty. And I love that it's a matte, um, but still looks good with that glossy top coat over it. Ooh, look at this. See, it looks beautiful. I'm not, I'm not going to put it on my list though. Next up, girly bits. I've had the lime of my life. Ha! Little, little uh, dirty dancing reference there. It's inspired by Sour Patch Kids. Definitely something I, I don't eat. Um, it's a bright lemon lime color with a pop of orange shimmer and a healthy serving of pink, orange, and gold color shifted flakes. 300 are available. I love this shot of it. And you can kind of see in this shot some of the green flakies, but this is not my jam. This is not for me. No, thank you. Hearts and Promises Cotton Candy. Ooh, cute. It's inspired by cotton candy, obviously. It's a pale blue polish with pink shimmer and pink, purple, and blue metallic flakies. I love when you get the big metallic flakies in there where you can really, really see them. There are 300 of these available. I don't know about this one. Sometimes when I get into the light blues, it just looks too Easter egg on me. Um, so I think this is not for me. I either need it to be like a brighter blue or more on the gray side. So I'm going to skip this one, but I really, really like those flakies in there. Hit the bottle polishes, bun intended. Okay, I like that. This is inspired by healthy junk food, black hamburger buns. I have never had a black hamburger bun. Um, if anyone has had it, tell me what it tastes like. I really want to know. It's a very dark gray stamping polish and one coat cream. Okay, so if you are a stamper, this, um, you can see some really great examples of how stamping can be used um, to just, I mean, make these incredible uh, nail designs. Can you imagine? Like, I'm, I'm not doing that on my, you know, free hand. Um, so stamping is a really cool, a really cool nail art alternative. Um, and it's not quite jet black, but it's, it's pretty black if you ask me. And you can use it as um, just a regular cream nail polish as well. You don't have to use it just for stamping. And 300 are available. I wasn't sure if I already said that. Not for me. I have a black, I've got a dark gray, um, and I don't do stamping. So next up, Indie by Patty Lopez. I'm going with Patty Lopez. I think last time I said Patty Lopes, I'm going to go with Lopez. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. This is called Pop Sugar. It looks like a magnetic. Yep, magnetic multi-chrome with iridescent flakies and pink, purple, pink, gold Aurora shimmer. Only 300 available, and it's inspired by milkshake candy. What the heck is milkshake candy? Ooh, that sounds delicious. I'm going to try that. Here's a really cool picture of how it looks in different lighting plus the magnetic effect. I just don't need more magnetics, but I wrote, this is, this is pretty cool. So, um, not going on my list, but very pretty. Gior Couture, is it Gior Couture? I, I don't know how to say this brand. Nom, nom, nom. I like the name of the polish though. And it's just inspired by junk food in general. It's a taffy violet um, in the cold state and it shifts to a bubblegum pink in the warm state uh, with rainbow color shifting micro glitter um, and gold orange green shifting shimmer. No cap on this one. So here you got the cold state over here and this would be the warm state up here. Oh, here's a good when it's on long nails, how it looks. I like this, the sort of gradient picture. This is really cool, but I know myself, I know I will not wear it. So I'll say no to Gior. Okay, this is the other automatically add to my wish list. This was the second one that I saw on the Facebook um, group thread that I just saw it and I had no, I didn't know what the inspiration was behind it. I just saw the picture while I was scrolling and I was like, this is me. This is totally me. This is called Fun Dip. It's from Kathleen and Co. It's inspired by Fun Dip, which is, I mean, that's like my childhood right there. Neon aqua base loaded with green shimmer. No cap on this, thank goodness. Look at this. It is like, 
isn't it just like refreshing to look at it? It looks like a pool. I mean, it reminds me of a pool. It does not remind me of a fun dip, a fun dip, probably because when I was a kid, I only ate the cherry fun dip. But, and this, I love this. These nails, I mean, for crying out loud, these nails. Yeah, it's on the wish list. KB Shimmer, straight to the pint. It's inspired by blizzards and ice cream. Um, so it's, I can't, where is the palest pink curly base? Um, small and medium glitters in light purple, hot pink, blue. It's buildable in two to three coats. That is a long description, man. Um, no cap on this one. Not for me. I don't like this kind of pink. I prefer like a bright, really saturated pink. This is a little too pastel for me. But I really like the combination of glitters in here. And KB Shimmers, I really, I really enjoy their polishes. Lemming Lacquer, the voodoo that they do. Ooh, I like that. Inspired by Voodoo Doll Donut from Voodoo Donuts. Um, I don't think I have... I don't, I'm not familiar with Voodoo Donuts. It's a chocolate jelly base with fuchsia to green to gold microchrome um, and gold holographic sparks. 200 are available. I mean, this really looks delicious, but you know what this looks like? It looks like a cherry soda to me, but still gorgeous. Love it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, do I need another dark polish at this moment? I don't know. I'm going to put it on the wish list, but I think that might, I think this one could probably fall off when I make my final decision. Lucky 13 Lacquer Eat Me. It is inspired by Alice in Wonderland. Oh yes. Minty blue base filled with tons of fuchsia, orange, gold, green, color shifting shimmer, scattered hollow, and a rainbow of color shifting crystal flakies. It glows in the dark. And there you can see it up in the top. There are only 110 available. I don't, really need another mint blue or mint green kind of uh paint polish and i'm glow in the dark you know i just I mean, it's cool in pictures but i don't need it not for me lumen another favorite brand pink pink sugar obviously inspired by starburst gorgeous uh pink pink sugar is a true bubblegum pink base with shimmering pink to magenta shift and tons of sparkle 600 are available so a really good amount I love Lumen, but I don't think I need this polish. I just don't wear pink often enough to justify another pink in my collection. So no thank you, Lumen, but I do love you. Lynn B. Designs, it ain't easy being cheesy. This is inspired by Cheetos. Uh, bright orange jelly base filled with red to gold to orange shifting shimmer, flakies and hollow flakies. No cap. I love Cheetos, but I don't love orange nail polish on myself. So no. MJ Lacquer's now, MJ Lacquer now and later, inspired by now and later candy. Uh, it's a solar polish. So inside you're going to be aqua and then outside you're going to be twilight um, with a red to orange aurora shimmer, fuchsia gold, orange and lime color shifting flakies. 110 are available. Um, so here, this is, well, this picture. So when you're inside, you're going to be this color here. And when you're outside, you're going to be this purple color. Um, well, I don't know. This isn't grabbing me. Moonshine Manny, once you pop. Inspired by sour cream and onion Pringles. No, I don't like it. No, I don't like sour cream and onion Pringles, not the polish. <laughs> it's a metallic chive green filled with iridescent flaky shifting orange, golden green, hollow flakies, and gold green magnetic glow. 200 are available. It, it's cool looking. I just, I, I don't, I don't like it for me personally. Not my thing. Next up, MTK Design, Wrap Your Junk. <laughs> Inspired by newspaper wrapped purple potato chips and Cheetos. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a satin or slightly matte pale fluorescent gray saturated with purple to blue sparkles and shimmer. And then an overindulgent amount of gold, copper, ruby, amethyst, and green, purple, blue iridescent flakies with a dash of hollow flash. And then it glows in the dark with that dark yellow orange. There's no cap on this. 
And this is just too much for my brain to handle. I mean, it's pretty, like this is really pretty, but I like the description just blew my mind. Nope. Music City Beauty, Nacho Business, inspired by Nacho Cheese Doritos, yum yum. An orange base with a red to gold shimmer and black micro shreds. Only 100 are available. This is really cool. I wish it was a little more on that red side, like more or more orangey red, um, kind of like the, the Doritos chip itself is to me more of an orangey red. Um, I don't need this just because I don't wear uh, these types of colors as often, but that's a really good shot. You can see those micro shirts in there. Really cool. Nail Artisan Cosmetics, Grapeness in a Can. That is grape. Mm -hmm. It's inspired by grape soda drink. It's a bold and punchy purple polish featuring a striking linear hollow with a sweet helping of multi-chrome flakes to really put the pop in this soda. Only 100 are, are available. I don't think I will do this because as you can see in all kinds of different lighting, you're gonna get like completely different purples. And I like this purple, which is more on the blue side. And then I like this purple up here, but I don't like this purple. Um, so, I personally don't want this, but I think it's a really cool, um, with all the flakies in there. Anything that's flaky, I, I think it's going to be pretty, but, okay, next up is Nailed It, You Bake Me Happy. That's cute. Um, oh, they partnered with Wildflower Lacquer, and they chose Cupcakes as their in inspiration. Um, a sheer violet base pack with packed with pink to gold shifting shimmer and hollow flakies. 300 are available. I'm gonna say no, no, no to this one because if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that these hollow micro glitters, like I can't handle that. They, it looks like dust stuck in your manicure. So no, not for me, but pretty. So I definitely think it works for a lot of people. I would just not wear it because of the flakies or the micro uh, flakies. Next up, Nails by Virgo Moon. Oh my god. Paxi Malino? I don't think I pronounced that right at all. And it's inspired by Festive Raspberry pa Paxic? It's a perfect choice for Fat Tuesday. Okay, someone who understands Fat Tuesday, please tell me what this is. There's only 100 available, and it's a raspberry jelly base with gold reflective glitters and brown hex glitters. I love hex glitters. Um, I don't need this, though. It's, it's, I like the raspberry look, but it's just, it's not my thing. Next up, we have Night Owl Lacquer Jalapeno Face. And even though there's no accent, I'm still going to say jalapeno. Um, it's inspired by jalapeno flavored snacks. It's a black and purple with black and purple with vibrant multichrome shimmer that shifts bright green, cyan, cobalt, and violet. No cap. And this is going on the wish list because it's gorgeous. I am a sucker, sucker, sucker for any kind of multichrome in this color family. I don't need it, but I'm going to put it on the wish list anyway. Noodles, nail polish, Dunky Junkie, um, inspired by Dunkin', Don Dunkin' Donuts. It's a white curly with magenta and orange matte glitters and a touch of fine silver hollow glitters. Dries with some texture. Okay, uh, no cap. So this would be a good candidate for either like a thicker top coat or a glitter grabber type top coat. Um, I'm gonna say no to this because I just, white curlies and my fingers don't, don't look it together. Cute though, I love the, the big chunky glitter. Polish Lucky Charms. Polishes, I really like them. And it's inspired by cereal marshmallows. Yep. Pale lavender packed with rose copper green shifting iridescent flakes. No cap. I just said I don't like white crellies. And then here, this is almost a white, and I like this one. That makes absolutely no sense. I know. Although you can really see the lavender in a lot of these pictures. I'm going to add it and then probably take it off later. <laughs> <laughs> Paint it pretty polish, but you can't eat just one. It's inspired by Lay's Sour Cream and Onion Chips. It's a teal base with shifting shimmers, only 150 available. 
This is pretty, but I have a lot of this kind of uh, polish. I mean, look at all these different, the shift in here. I really like this, um, but it's, I have, I have almost, you know, something very, very similar. So I'm going to say no to this one. Painted polish, animal style. Oh, for those of you who know, animal style is a reference to In-N-Out Burger. So this one, it, yep, it's inspired by the In-N-Out logo. It's a yellow mustard crelly with red metallic flakes. 400 cap. I don't know about this one. I can't decide if I like it because it's called animal style or if I like it actually because of the polish. Um, I'm not going to put this on my wish list, but painted polish is a, has a great formula. I have quite a few of theirs. Pampered polishes, sour, sweet, gone. Uh, it's inspired by Sour Patch Kids, a white jelly leaning curly base loaded with red, yellow, green, and blue metallic flakes. No cap. I don't need a white curly, but look at those flakes in that. That's really cool. I think if you like a white curly, this would be a good one. Pampered Polishes does um, a really nice curly formula. I think you would like it. Pinnacle Polish All Lime. It's inspired by Lime Skittles. Yum, yum, yum. Neon green base with scattered holographic micro flakes. Um, it says because of the opaque green base, the hollow effect isn't as prominent and the flakes look mostly silver. Uh, 150 cap. I'm okay with that that they look mostly silver. I think it looks really cool. I mean, look at that. I love a good lime. I think this might pull too yellow on me, but I'm going to put it on the wish list and see. I've never tried pinnacle polish, so that would be a good one to try. Polished for days. Fantastic. Inspired by shark gummies. Oh, yes. A teal base with bright blue to, perf to purple shifting iridescent shimmer and hollow holographic flakes. No cap. Really pretty. Really pretty, but I just don't need another blue. And I don't like with all those holographic flickies in there. But it's a really nice color for summer. Psych Minerals Deep Dish Reigns Supreme. It's inspired by pizza, right? Yep, Luminati. Uh huh. Luminati's Deep Dish Pizza in Chicago. The red to gold multi cream, multi chrome with green at the extremes with corresponding shimmer. Only 100 available. This is not a color I would wear, but I love that shot with the bottle and you can see all the shifts in there. Very cool. Red Eyed Lacquer Snap Crackle and Munch or Snap Crackle Munch. It's inspired by Rice Krispie Treats. I love Rice Krispie Treats. A white, curly, hollow, flaky bomb with blue teal shifting shimmer. Only 200 available. This is... <clears throat> I was going to say this is not for me, but I actually do like this. It looks like broken glass right there. I actually do like this one. I think it's going to go on the wish list. I know. Makes no sense. Red Panda Lacquer Diet or Light. It tastes right. It's inspired by Diet Coke, or if you're in Europe, it's Coke Light. It's a sheer gray, gray with red, orange, aurora shimmer and a touch of chrome pigment. Only 105 available. I love a good Diet Coke, and actually, I really love the way it looks right here, but I don't think I need this. I think my Emily Damali short-term polish kind of satisfies that for me. Restored by Polish, Chic Chick. It's inspired by Party Cake Peeps. Um, it's a delicate ivory crelly with multicolored iridescent flakes and aurora shimmer. It's opaque in two to three coats. Um, no cap. Oh yeah. A cap of a hundred. I, I don't care for this one. I, I feel like some of these larger flakies are a bit too random. Like there's only, you know, one or two on, on a nail. So this one's not for me, but it's a cute inspiration. I like that. Saucy Cat's Lacquer Cotton Candy. Whoa, this is really pretty. It's inspired by blue and pink cotton candy with a cap of 200 blue base with glowy pink shimmer. Yes, it is. That's gorgeous right there. I love this. And then if you look at it in different light, it brings out more of that cobalt blue. Um, this is really pretty. I'm going to add it to the wish list. Sassy sauce polish fire in the hole. Are these atomic fireballs? Isn't that a candy? 
No, it's inspired by Takis, those like chip type things. A watermelon shade base with red, gold, green shimmer, a magenta blue twinkling micro glitter. Uh, and 400 are available. This is really pretty. I like this sort of watermelon color. And then here's a good look at all those flakies in there. I don't wear reds and pinks often enough to justify it, but Sassy Sauce it does make a good flaky. Stella Chroma, the greatest. It's inspired by Grater's Black Raspberry, raspberry Chocolate Chip Ice Cream. I do like their ice cream. Um, it's a creamy raspberry shade with the perfect amount of black flakies. Oh, and it says you can use three thin coats if you want more flakies. Okay, so it's really opaque in two coats, but if you want to get out more flakies, you could do like three thinner coats and that way you get more flakies out. No cap on this one. Uh, really pretty color. Just really gorgeous color. I don't need this, um, but I, I think they really did a nice job with this one. It looks like it dries a little, not completely matte, but like a touch matte. So I would definitely use a glossy top coat over it. Swamp Gloss No Chill. Inspired by Bring Your Own Cup Slurpee Day. It's a bright blue jelly with matte hex glitters, subtle shimmer, and a ton of iridescent flakes. 300 are available. Swamp Gloss does these really cool, like in your face glitter, um, polishes like the matte glitter thing i love i love all these big chunky glitters in here i i don't need another like this but i really love it and in this picture you can just this flaky up at the top uh would tell me that you probably need a good thick uh glossy coat or a glitter grabber top coat sweetheart polish pucker up it's inspired by old time raspberry hard candies. Pinky red glitter bomb with both metallic and hollow glitters in varying sizes with a red to gold Aurora shimmer. Only 150 available. This is not pulling at me at all. And I feel bad saying that. Oh, and you can use it as a topper. Okay, still not pulling at me. I'm gonna skip this one. Watcha candy donuts. It's inspired by donuts. Shimmer and flake iridescent with colored matte glitter. 400 are available. I don't get the description of it, but I like the way the polish looks. That's a cool um, polish. And you can tell just by these pictures that it's pretty textured. So again, you would want a, a glitter grabber or something like Hollow Taco, their glossy top coat. You could put like two layers on. It's a pretty thick top coat. Um, that'll just give you really great shine and kind of smooth everything out. I'm going to say no, no, no to this one, but um, I, I do think it's really pretty. Wildflower Lacquer Cake It Easy. Inspired by chocolate cupcakes. I want to eat that chocolate cupcake. It's a dark chocolate brown with red to orange to gold shifting shimmer. No cap. I mean, look at this. This literally looks like chocolate on the nails. I'm only saying no to this one because I have a couple of um, really chocolatey browns, so I, I don't need another one, but come on, that looks delicious. And then we have Zombie Claw Flamin' Hottie, and it is inspired by Flaming Hot Cheetos Limon, a white base mixed red and neon green glitter and flickies. Only 100 are available. This is, again, like a white crully that I just won't wear but look at how packed it is with glitters look at the bottle look at all of that if you ever have a polish like that and you can't seem to shake it up and get all the glitters mixed up just turn it over like prop it up and turn it over and leave it upside down for a while and all the glitters will float down and, and you'll be able to use it that way i'm saying no to this one um but it's cool if you if you like the the curly look let's take a look at what we threw in the wish list here Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, 12, 13. Okay. Not as, not as much damage as I thought. Well, and I'm not purchasing all of these. This is just my wish list. Um, there's a color theme. If you can tell, look, blue, green, blue, green, multi-chrome, blue, blue. <laughs> I like blue and green. 
pretty cool. And you know what? I think there were a couple of non-polished items that I wanted to point out. They've got a couple of non-polished items here that are really great. A couple of magnets, a magnet stand, which is good. So if you're, you know, lazy like I am, you don't have to hold the magnet. Um, a glass nail file. I only use glass nail files myself. Um, some dotting tools. And then there's a lot of cuticle remover and, and cuticle... Um, uh, um, critical oil that you might want to check out. Um, there are things like KB Shimmer has their restoration drops in here. Um, and then, you know, some stampers, but there was something, and I'm not sure. Oh, Cuticle Bomb by Bluebird. Um, that would be a great, here it is. Inspired Scents, Pass the Chocolate Please Cuticle Oil. Yeah, I gotta get a chocolate scented cuticle oil. Oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. Okay, well, I think that completes my wish list. I hope you all enjoy this and please go check out Polish Pickup and uh, find some good stuff for, for yourself um, or for a gift. I'll have info linked down below and I hope you all have a wonderful day and join me next time. Thanks everybody.